When you look at the world today and the challenges that our, our nation is facing, I believe that more than ever, our communities need Christian leaders. We have um, young people out there that are struggling to, to make it, um, to, to know where to go, to know what to do. They're just lost is the best way to describe it. And I think that they've missed out on that. There's just that basic fundamentals of knowing what their purpose is. The world, the United States specifically, has uh, kind of veered off course from our founding here in the United States uh, specifically. This nation was founded on Christian principles and Christian doctrine, and we have abandoned a lot of that. Uh, we don't even recognize in our current public school system that um, in our social studies books that there was any Christian influence in the founding of the nation. We've completely uh, obliterated that. Somerset Christian School was a result of the effort of a, a group of pastors in the community. There was a school at Victory Christian Fellowship Church, Victory Christian School. It had pretty well outgrown the facility and they, pastors in the community had been discussing the possibility of starting a community Christian school. Now they weren't all the same denomination, but they had a common vision. Yeah, there were many, many challenges in front of us to create a community Christian school here in, in Somerset, uh, but we just sensed that God's calling was upon us to do that. And myself and three other pastors, we just uh, began praying together, began drawing other community leaders uh, together into the process and other churches. And uh, when we began the process uh, over a period of time, we now have over 70 churches involved. It's exciting to see how God is working in the lives of these students and how they're involved in their churches and their community and it's been an incredible process. My father-in-law, you know, Odell, which we, we just buried him last week, passed away, had a huge, huge heart for kids in this, this community, wanted to, you know, do something significant and that would be lasting, and that's investing in these children today. We're raising our generation of champions for Christ. We live in a day and age where it's some difficult times out there, and we want to help our students see the world through the biblical worldview that exists out there, so they can see the world through the lens of the Bible and apply the truths of the Word of God to their lives and to their community and to their chosen professions that God may call them into. One of the things that SCS does that's unique is that it trains students in all three areas. And really, if you look at it, we, we actually flip that around. The spiritual side is the most important aspect of the school. Uh, when you look at our vision statement, mission statement, they're geared towards that aspect of a person, something that's missing in other, other educational environments. And then we do academics, and then the body sports would be third. We challenge them to step up. Um, I know, especially, I think, in our high school program, um, the. Um, the classroom discussions are not one-sided. It's not a teacher just delivering information. It's a teacher delivering information and challenging the students to come back with information. We stand behind them. You know, we're going to be here to mentor you. We're going to walk with you and we're going to um, guide you through this process. You know, go on out there and spread your wings a little bit, but know that we're going to be here to catch you. Our goal here at school is to change the world in a positive way to help these students take a look at, at God, to look at Him in His face. And when you do that, it changes you. And so we want students to come here to grow in their faith, to know who they are in their faith, so they can go out and make a difference in a positive way in the world around them. We believe that what our students are receiving at Somerset Christian School is preparing them to succeed in life. And when I say success, I don't just mean in earning a, a lot of money. I mean succeeding in building families that are strong, in, uh, in pursuing careers that are going to be fulfilling, yet uh, something that they can be proud of as a Christian, and also to be contributors to their local churches. Freshman year, I used to push people around in the hallways and I would be really mean. I would instigate fights and um, I would talk about people. Charity Taylor is a, is a wonderful young lady. Uh, she is, uh, she's always been very special. 
uh, but she struggled. She struggled with some self-image issues. And I remember I, I actually had an opportunity to teach Charity when she was in middle school. And I could sense almost immediately there was a great deal of anger in her. She was uh, sometimes belligerent with other students. You could just see in her daily mannerisms that she was frustrated, she was angry, uh, she was unhappy. I only had a few friends, I only had a few people that actually really talked to me. And Mr. Akers, as like a teacher and as a leader in, in my life during that time, he, um, he took that to a level of just being a friend. I would make a, a point at least once a week of sitting down at the lunch table with Charity and her friends. At that time in my life, I wasn't, I didn't have much respect for authority. And I, you know, I didn't want to be bothered by another teacher trying to tell me what I can do or can't do. And um, Mr. Akers came and he befriended me and he, would come and sit with me at lunch. So I, I tried very hard to build a relationship with Charity and, and her particular set of friends. I watched as she grew older, God began to do some miraculous things in her life. Uh, there was a complete change. It was like, it was just like the Holy Spirit began to work on her and that that tough exterior that she had built, that, that uh, angry, aggressive front that she carried just melted away. I was totally, completely changed and um, it wasn't by chance, it wasn't by just a, well, like a whim, it was a real like heart change, like something just moved inside of me and, um, and it was definitely the Lord. I am currently at Boston Baptist College in Boston, Massachusetts, and I am studying with a major in Biblical Studies and a minor in um, Elementary Education. Before I came to the Christian school, I went to a public school, and I would be very shy to even bring up that I was a Christian. Um, and going to the Christian school, I was able to become more um, understanding that I can come out and be like, I'm a Christian. I don't have to be ashamed of being a Christian, and I shouldn't be ashamed. And that's something that it's taught me, is that no matter where I am, I need to be honest and be truthful to who I am. And that is who I am. I am a Christian. I am so um, okay with saying that. And in school, we would pray, we would read the Bible, and we would be open to talk about anything. And it, it helped me to understand that I can do that anywhere. It's not, I don't have to be in an atmosphere where it has to only be about God. I can be anywhere in the world. If I want to be on an airplane, open my Bible and read it. I don't have to be afraid, I don't have to be ashamed to do that. And that's something the school has taught me to do, is be very open with my faith. Somerset Christian School is not a church, it's a school. Now we have a strong Christian influence in that we have a Bible class every day at every grade level. We have chapel once a week for each, every student. Again, we're not a church ourselves. We're just here to supplement what's happening in the church and in the family and to provide an opportunity for parents who wanted their children to be in a Christian setting and uh, continue their spiritual education to have a place they could go. Teaching isn't just standing in front of a group and teaching a subject. Uh, teaching is really sharing a part of who you are so that the students see a glimpse of that and who you really are and, and hope to be like you um, or, or even be better. <laughs> you know, that's probably the goal, I guess, is for the students to be better. My desire here is to instill in the children that I teach, the children that I, that I come into contact with, um, the importance of God first and that that's how they're going to, to create change. I've been in Christian education for the last 16 years and I've watched year after year as our students 
graduate. And I am so confident in them. They are prepared, they're passionate, they're qualified, they are motivated, and I'm excited about what God is doing through Christian education to change America and the world. And then 3 John 4 in the Bible teaches me and, and, and my wife that uh, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And for you and I, if we're Christians, they're all our children. So for us investing in those children today, wow, what kind of a harvest will we have tomorrow? Only God knows. Only God knows.